guys, Caleb from Abigail Travel. Here we are in the Victorian island country. I'm going to show you how to get the most out of a weekend up here. That's a, that's a nice hat you got there. Good, isn't it? <laughs> if you're not wearing a cowboy hat, are you even in the high country? Like, well, seriously. That is true. Exactly. Right, it's going to be, going to be rounded up to mild Brumbies tonight. That's just what I do up here. What am I saying? That's just what I do. <laughs> Come into Mansfield, we're going to go across to Dargo to have a candle lunch, go and get a meal at the pub, and then we'll head out to Blue Rag and back down through Bright. So, this trip here, it'll give you a little bit of everything the high country has to offer. Yeah, this is Circuit Road, so this is what they call Telephone Box Junction. So, yeah, this is one of the markers. So, yeah, we're going to go left and we'll go across to Craig's Hut. Plenty of water. Plenty of water, I reckon I've used nearly all of it just trying to get the dust back off the window. <laughs> well, it should be mud for now. Yeah, it's not looking pretty. Come in, Craig's hut. Brumbies, there's Brumbies up here. I'm Craig's hut. So this was a set for the man from Snow River. So he's a pretty magical place. You gotta love Craig's hut. You come to the high country. It's a great idea to get yourself a map. The good thing about these HEMA Tobo maps, the paper maps, they're not really expensive, 15 bucks. You can pick it up from the local survey. Definitely get one, because I'll help you actually get lost. We've just left Craig's Hut, and we're heading down what I believe is called Monument Track. And this is going to take us down the Brindaree Road, past Brindaree Falls. If you haven't checked them out, they're definitely worth having a look at. And then from there, we're going to go across to Pike's uh, Brindaree Hut, Pike's Flat Hut. 16 mile jeep and up to bluff hut for the night. Don't go wrong, we've all got a soft edges sign, could be interesting. Well, I think they're... I'm pretty sure this is where the steps were, I think they've sheeted this. You think they've sheeted it? I think so. Tiny little Brindaree hut. Brindaree wasn't a big man. <laughs> That's why I only did a little hut. <laughs> this here is 16 mile jeep track. Uh, on this track, there is a little hidden swimming hole that probably not a lot of people know about. You can see the river, it's sort of the bottom of the hill, and it is bloody unreal. How good is this? How good is that? Oh, it's so fresh. You didn't jump it. I'll think about it. I think that's the only logical way to get in. Big fish down there. Really? No shit. Probably a uh, eel. Crocodile. Crocodile, crocodile could be. Yeah, right. It feels like crocodile water in here. That's deep, mate. It is. Cool, mate. You'll be right. You know it, I know I'm Alan's saying. You'll be right. You reckon? You've checked it. Yeah, I trust your judgment. Let me just double check again. <laughs> do you need your goggles? I would love, do you have it there? Do you need a kickboard as well? Oh. Uh, Floaties? Floaties, yeah. Floaties would be nice. So, it is quite, <laughs> it is quite a way down there. Oh, 
like a fry. That's what makes Isle Country beautiful. If you're driving down a track, you get a, All right. you get a pristine river beside you. You have a, have a wash. This is great. Good to go. Isle Country bath. It's all right. I forgot we had a little creek crossing in this. It's sort of like driving on the beach. You want to power on as you're going up the hill. As you come over for fire breaks, you just want to slow down and back off a little bit. He's uh, pretty big, not going too close. And you know it's a brown snake. Well, it's brown. This was a magnificent camp spot last night. See the boys are packing up. Better push the fire out. Should be time to go. So, a few tips for camping in the high country. Regardless what season it is, make sure you bring warm clothes, warm blankets, sleep bags, and Ugg boots. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Ugg boots. What we camped at, uh, in between Bluff Hut and Lovick's Hut. Yeah, plenty of places up here to camp. Some of the issues with the high country is there's too many good places to camp. You don't know if you're passing up a good one or you're going to a better one. Yeah, look at that view out there. Oh, Lovix. It is a tidy hut, this Lovix. Get some sunscreen. This is a bit old, this stuff. We'll drive it on. Feel it burning. No, it'll burn on. So, leaving Lovick's hut, this is still bluff track, and it takes us across to King Billy. You see in the mud there, look at that, it's a dog tracks. Okay. You need to be aware of the high country. There's definitely wild animals down here. Red leaves are the females. It doesn't seem to be the the male to female ratio seems to be quite out in the leaves. Like living in Singo, mate. Not many, not many women with a lot of blokes. <laughs> well, they're pretty bold cutting them where they did to the get you know, like, and hope that they didn't fall. That's what I reckon. I would have whipped that now. <laughs> If she slid down, she'd really lock you into place.
a couple hundred meters between us. Piece of paradise. And we were shooting cans, that was also fun. <laughs> Could teach you the thing about PPS. Yeah, map system you got there. Right, so we've got the old PPS here. Paper positioning system. There's that a lot of GPS. The only difference is you've got to know where you've been so you can work out where you are. So down the bottom of you, you've got a scale. So this scale tells you how long it's going to take you to get to the next place. So we've got 15 kilometres is about that much. So where we've been, all right, we started over here at Bluff Hut. We're going from Bluff Hut down up King Billy, across to um, Howard Hut, down Howard Plains Road. And here we are here, down here, Kelly's Art. So we want to go from Kelly's Art across here to the Pinnacle. So on the 15k scale, we've got, that's five. That's probably another five. Now we're about 15. So probably another five in there too. 15. 15. It's good to say over here. That's Pinnacles. So, 35k. PPS, mate. 35k. 35k. Keep on saying. Right. And what's the road condition like? Yeah, look, I'd, I'd be expecting it anyway. PPS doesn't give you live, live road, road conditions. The, the PPS likes you to feel it and experience it firsthand. It adds adventure back into your, your, your travel plans, you know? See the uh, PPS time frame was thereabouts on point. Two hours. <laughs> no, we didn't. We're now coming down the famous Billy Goat Bluff. When you come down Billy Goat Bluff, it is steep, like next level steep. So, if you're like me and don't drive with your shoe boots on and you haven't in your foot well, make sure you take them out and put them in the passenger seat because you don't want anything sliding in under the, under the pedals. Yeah, Billy Goat's Bluff is one of them uh, very, very unforgiving tracks. It's not hard, it's just if you get it wrong, it's huge consequences. And first load down it, because if you don't, you'll overheat your brakes, then you get brake fade, and then bye bye. And it is a two-way track, so be prepared, it's, it's popular, so you might have to give way in places, and it is sort of difficult to give way, but then. Yeah. Take your time, you'll be right. Guys, the left alley bad there on their way, so we'll see them somewhere in transit.
Well, we're down to the helipad. Just come down Billy Goat's Bluff. Don't know if you can see that. Chat goes way up. That mountain over there is the Pinnacles. Here we are, day three, about to leave camp. We're gonna head down past the Grant Historic Area, down to the Crooked River, check out Talbotville. Because it said township, so I'm guessing there might be a few of these. Well, yeah, a few stage sections, you know. I just grab lie because I've got a funny feeling it's going to be pretty steep. Fongs. <laughs> We're going down Bulltown Spur track at the moment. Low range, first gear. Just letting the car do the thing. This will take us straight down to the Crooked River. <laughs> you can see some of these corners are quite sharp.
Surely you'd see that coming. Well, I thought, I thought I would back off. <laughs> Township. It's a big, huge green grassy area, plenty of tables right on the Crooked River. It's absolutely magic. Cheeky Basalt Knob South. So this is going to be quite a steep little climb on this one. Yeah, yeah. We might as well grab low down there. Come around this corner and you look, and there's a little gap in the trees at the top, that's where we're going. Thick line halfway up. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'll just go back to first. Sick line. I reckon this is steeper than Billy Gates. <laughs> Holy <laughs> that dust, I'm making it. I did fog it. Just, um, I might just pull up on this section here and I'll walk back down. Go on! Be up, Matty! <laughs> I, I ended up in the rocks! <laughs>
Tell him not to back off around the corner. Don't back off around the corner. You know it's steep when that's angle of the trees. <laughs> Real rocky section at the top, just pick your line because it throws you when you bounce off them because it's so steep. This is definitely a hard track. <laughs> you always see that. There's nothing in the high country too hard. I oh, know. If your car doesn't have a rear diff lock, I would seriously consider not coming up this track. <laughs> oh, thank Christ for that rear. Where we've never been now, so. Alright, so just in case you die. Yeah, so we're on the other side of Blue Rag, so we're going down towards the river. Let's um. Okay. Type them. Type them. Oh, 
off and text? Yeah. What the fine? What do you want? I figured it would be. It's way too far away. How far is way too far? Where are we? I think we're the purple arrow. We're pretty much there. What's the start? <laughs> This is at the bottom of Blue Road Range Track. I'm gonna get a beer and then I'm gonna go and sit over in that waterfall. There you go, that's how to see the most of the high country over a weekend. You get to see some historic huts, you get to do some cool river crossings. There's some crazy descents, crazy climbs, and then on top of that, just absolutely magical camping. There's nothing like camping in the high country. So get out here, check it out for yourself. You won't be disappointed. It's magical.